Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today, some defensive plays. I'm in my Kansas City Chiefs ebook one more time. I'm going to give you guys a really good pass defensive coverage that I've been using quite a bit uh, in some gameplays that you'll be seeing in the future coming up. I'm in practice mode today because I'm trying to update all my ebooks. Um, you know, since the latest patch came out just a couple of weeks ago, maybe even less, it was like 10 days ago. But for a couple of days now, I'm going to probably be doing some practice mode stuff uh, before I get back to gameplay because I really am, am putting a lot of time into updating these ebooks uh, that I have done. Um, so if you're on my Patreon, check that out. Other than that, like I said, all my ebooks will be updated uh, hopefully by the time, you know, by the end of this week. Hopefully by the weekend, I'll have all my up ebooks updated on my site, adding more uh, man beaters and stuff like that, especially on offense since this year is really a man coverage year. If you guys know, I mean, this is pretty much a scheme that I've been using for a while. If you guys know my channel, you know I've pretty much been using cover two man. I find that a lot of people are really figuring how to beat cover two man, just mostly running slants and crosses and stuff like that uh, and buying time until um, until the, to those routes get open. So when that happens, I really like to mix in a couple of different coverages that I'm going to show you how I run them uh, today. So it's really three different plays. I'm going to go ahead and put them all in my audibles. Like I said, I'll leave the cover two man in there. I might touch on that just quickly uh, for people that don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then I'm just going to put in these coverages. There's three different coverages that I really find myself using a lot that I never really used in the past. For some reason, I find they're very effective now, and I'll go over that in a bit too. Uh, but it's the cover, cover nine show two, the cover six invert. We'll go ahead and we'll add that. Um, to this got a lot of really good blitzes out of this as well But I'm not going into that today. I might show that like the buck slant show two is a really good blitz I might show that in an upcoming video hit the like button if you want to see that um, Other than that I also have the last play which is the cover four quarters now before I get into this as well Make sure you uh, as always want to put your safeties at these linebacker spots um, You know just want to maximize your coverage the outside defensive end you typically want to put at least one uh, as a good coverage linebacker So when it comes to the cover two men just like I said, I'll touch on this real quick. One of the things that's a, a real upgrade with the new defense is you can put these guys here on um, on on vert hooks. Vert hooks are okay, uh, but they really don't cover too well when it comes to crossing receivers. I really find that especially the three wreck hook does a really good job of covering multiple uh, receivers. I'll just let the play run real quick. I'm not going to do any adjustments. Just watch the the three wreck hook. If there's multiple guys in his area, he does a really good job of, of dropping. I mean, you see, he, he he goes from the deep crosser to the uh, to the to the short route. Um, if I go ahead and I'll put him now into a regular uh, regular vert hook. Uh, although, and, and you'll see how he doesn't do any of that. Now he's just going to drop straight back. So that alone is already a pretty good improvement. You can see right there, he gets beat. If I could adjust all my, my uh, cover two outside guys to vert hooks, like if I could actually do them to three racks, this defense would be insane. But since I can't do that, I really find that these defenses are really better when it comes to, uh, you know, because they all have three rack hooks um, to taking away mid routes. So they're all pretty much the same as far as how I run them. I really just like to have my audibles because I like to mix them up. So basically when it comes to my adjustments, all I really want to do, like I said, is put one of these defensive ends, which I put a linebacker out here. Since I have Clark on the one side, I'd actually think I'd rather put this defensive end uh, on, that, uh, on that vert hook. Uh, but this is pretty much going to be the guy that I'm using anyway. So I feel like having a three rec hook like I do um, is really going to help to almost have life to, to feel like I have almost two users because it's such a much better uh, it does a much better job. Uh, and then, like I said, these particular defenses just they cover crossers better, uh, which is something that man coverages just don't really do. I mean, they feel like a lot of times like here we got all crossers going. You can see how they're pretty much clamped down. The computer didn't want to throw it, and I didn't even know that was going to be double slants. By the way, this is completely random. But going to the replay, like I said, I mean, that's one of the bigger issues when it comes to man anyway is the crossers. And you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm cutting off this first one. This guy here does a pretty good job of maintaining that, which is typically the issue when it comes to man. In man coverage, this guy here would be, he would be open. But because of this three wreck is just so overpowered, he just does a great job of following that all the way to the end of the play. But even if he wants to throw it to this guy here following, this guy's still in the area. So he'll slow down, he'll be able to make a play on that. Not necessarily stop it, but still do a very good job. And then this guy here, like I said, I mean, you have these guys, they're playing deep, but you can see how they do a better job of covering to the end. So if that ball were to get thrown, that's why the, the quarterback computer did make that throw is because there is 
on uh, oncoming help here at the end. And the reason that I have uh, these other defenses, I mean, the, the setup's going to be pretty similar when it comes to these other defenses. I just feel like the cover two uh, show nine and the cover six invert are just a little bit better when it comes to over the middle coverage. So that's really the only read. When it comes to uh, which play you're choosing, this is a little bit better deep coverage. These are a little bit better short coverage, more intermediate routes, uh, which is really what's going to be uh, better when it comes to stuff to you know choosing these plays. My adjustments are still going to pretty much be the same. I'm going to leave these guys uh, if I choose the the covers the cover two show nine. I'm going to leave these guys uh, to do their job, and then I'm typically going to use this linebacker one more time. So that'll give me the uh, the ability to really take away these these deep crossers. And then you can see once again, I mean, there's really nothing open deep. He has to take the short dump check down. So that's pretty much the look. Uh, but like I said. It really depends on where your opponent's going. Five wide receiver sets for people that know what they're doing um, can really give a defense like this problems. Uh, because, but most people don't know how to do that. That's the thing about this particular defense. When it comes to cover four quarters or cover, cover nine show two, cover six invert, all these defenses, people don't really know how to read them, and they really don't know the plays that beat them. Because most, you know, YouTube channels like myself really focus on cover twos, cover threes, cover fours, stuff like that. That's the, you know, man coverages. But nobody really spends a lot of time explaining how to beat these particular defenses. So most people don't know how to beat them. And like I said, they definitely don't know how to read them. So the only thing that when it comes to switching these plays, switching between the cover nine show two and the invert and the cover four quarters, I do that based off the fact if you're playing a game mode where it says the previous play that you ran, then you're going to want to switch these plays. You know what I mean? Like if you're playing like a draft champions, they don't show you uh, what the previous play was. Uh, but most game modes show what the previous play was. So that's why you basically just switch in between these. And they all have a pretty good, a pretty similar reaction when it comes to uh, how they play, uh, you know, they play well. And like I said, the, the, the as far as the adjustments go, it's pretty much always going to be the same. So if I'm running a cover six invert, I mean, number one, I'd probably flip this play because I want to use this linebacker one more time. So this will give me the opportunity to basically can just drop him in a vert hook and then we have a lot of coverage really quick simple setup for all these defenses pretty much the same like i said all of them uh whether it's the cover six invert the cover nine show two you just want to make sure that you're not uh double you know zoning a spot so if like right here if i if i were to run this particular defense uh i gotta flip it one more time because it doesn't make a lot of sense to have them both in the same area you want to spread them out so you'd want to flip that so that you could have uh, the B route running that outside, or actually I might have flipped it by mistake. I'm still messing this whole thing up here. But yeah, like I said, flip it so that this guy is always uh, in, a, in an area. I mean, you're ultimately going to be using this guy a lot of times anyway, but you always want to, if you're not going to be using him, if you're going to be using one of these other guys, you just want to make sure that you have this spaced out so you can take away any short routes. That's pretty much it. So I guess I'm going to run one more time. A lot of this video is really just explaining uh, because I don't really think it does a whole lot of justice. Uh, you know, just basically explain, you know, running this in practice mode. I mean, it doesn't really prove anything. That's why the majority of my stuff is in gameplay. But you can see the only thing you really get is short routes. There's nothing really intermediate open. That's kind of the idea. So, like I said, this is more for deep coverage crossers especially this is more for intermediate both of these are more for intermediate and then, like i said i switched them up based off the fact that your opponent typically cannot read these defenses and they don't know how to beat these defenses it's just that simple most people don't know how to i know how to there's a rare fraction of people that knows how to beat these defenses consistently which is why every once in a while if you run into somebody running these online i'm, I'm guaranteeing that you probably remember playing against these type of defenses and struggling against these type of defenses because they're very effective for people that don't know um, how to read a defense 100 percent to the point uh, and it's really effective for people that don't have coverage beaters already uh, in their back pocket for plays like this. So I'm going to end the video there. Um, like I said, this is you know a lot more informational than actually running the plays. I will be putting out some gameplay with these defenses very shortly uh, once I'm done with my ebooks. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shut out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.